Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 12 of Let's Play Battlefield Yugoslavia. Today, we will be defending the city of Smolutsa, well, the town of Smolutsa, from Muslim and Croat forces. In one way, we will be effectively liberating the town, since it is currently under siege by a joint Muslim-Croat force. Historically, Thousands of Serb refugees were trapped in the city of, well, in the town of Smolutsa until they were liberated by the forces of the Garda Panter, who we will be representing today. To liberate this town, we will be needing a lot of luck, to be honest since we seem to be at an immediate disadvantage, despite our superiority in numbers. Therefore, we will have to continue to attack these Bosniak and Muslim positions, well, these Bosniak, Muslim and Croat positions, at the very least, until they can no longer take it. Because now, with the Bosniaks heal, well, the Bosniaks trying to heal and the Croats looking for another victory against us, they've decided to team up. And this is not a good result in any way. We will have to teach these bastards a lesson the only way we know how. Blood and iron. And that's what I seek to do here. So let's see what we can do against these joint Muslim and Croat forces. Because at the moment, we are in a pretty bad situation, an almost unimaginable situation, to be honest. Ah, oh, these friggin' Balias keep shooting at me. Take that, you Ustache! Ugh. We are on the losing side of this battle already. We need a breakthrough and desperately. This one tank is just destroying us. I'd like to liberate Smoluta, but this one tank just keeps kicking my ass. So you know what? Screw the tank. I'm gonna advance no matter what. I'm gonna choose a rocket launcher. And I'm gonna make sure that these Bosniaks and these Croat Ustache scumbags taste the might of the Serbs. They won't forget our names, that's damn certain. We will crush them, and we will make Bosnia serve again. We will launch our rockets and break their lines. Because with that tank out of the way, victory is right in our grasp. Let's advance and continue advancing until these Ustashe and these Jihadis aren't able to throw anything else against us. Ah, god damn! We need to keep fighting. If we could take just one base from them, if we can get onto, onto that hill, we can win. But if we can't defeat these Muslims and these Croats, then the Bosnian War will start to turn against us once more. And this is not something I will allow. Not today, not any other day. Bosnia will be won by the Serbs. And that is a guarantee, I say. Not merely a suggestion. Now it's time to hold out while the Muslims and the Croats attack our position. Putre Dustache! God damn this! They will pay! They will pay in blood! They will suffer the wrath of the Serbs! 
Because we will not let those refugees die in Smolutsa. We will break the siege and we will liberate the town. Because otherwise, this is gonna be a very bad year for the Serbs. And I am not going to stand by and watch us lose Bosnia. Don't think for a second that I would. With this tank, I will push forward. And I will liberate this base for Serbia. For the Vojska Republika Srpska. We will crush these secessionists, Catholic and Muslim alike. They will never, mark my words, never try to leave Yugoslavia again. Because with God as my witness, we the Serbs shall prevail. Take that, you filthy Ustashe! This is it, the moment of reckoning. They don't have the weaponry to penetrate this tank. And with the overlook taken, this battle is now going to start going in our favor. Though we are still losing points, we are no longer bleeding points as much as we were before. And with that, with that knowledge, we will continue onwards to the next base. And after that to the next. We will not be pushed back and we will not be evicted from our positions. They are legitimately captured and will be legitimately held. We will bypass their defenses. And fire our ammunition right at them. We shall spray them with machine gun fire until they learn their lesson. You can be damn certain of it. Or until the tank explodes, since the guys in this town, this part of the town, seem to have rockets. But no worries. For me, that is not a problem. Because I will continue my offensive my push against these putrid Balia scumbags and these evil Ustashe fascists. And I will make sure that by the end of this battle there will be no enemy troops left standing. That is a promise that I shall make to you all today. The town shall be liberated and Bosnia shall be secured. Despite the groans and the moans, we will not give up. We will never give up and never surrender. We will fight them on the hills and in the towns. We will fight them everywhere that we must. In Bosnia and in Croatia, the Serbian Krajina and everywhere else. We will not lose the Great War of the Balkans. We will not lose Yugoslavia. For to do so would be to lose our dignity and to lose our might. To lose hundreds of years of joint history and for all intents and purposes to lose Serbia's pride. The Serbs cannot do anything else but win. And with that knowledge, they will win. Take that, you filthy Ustashe scumbag! It seems that they are actually holding us at bay. But no worries. I have a plan. Because look at this tank that I just found. When I say tank, I mean a proper battle tank. With this technology at our disposal, victory is assured. 
if we can get it out of this fucking sandbag. Here we go. Onwards into battle. It seems that we are flanking a Bosniak base. All the better for us. Because though they have more points at the moment, we have the zeal and the dedication to crush them. To make sure that they won't consider Serbia to be a weak enemy anymore. Because I just saw an entrance by which we shall put an end to this Muslim and Croat rebellion. <clears throat> I apologize if my voice is getting a bit shaky. I'm actually starting to lose it from how angry I am at these secessionist scumbags and traitors. I admit that I'm doing a bad job at hiding it. But using that tree trunk we just blew up two of these rascals. And I won't stop there. God, no! I must continue marching onwards because we are still losing points. Despite our heroic advance Smolutsa is yet to be liberated. Which is why, in the name of the Republika Srpska, I shall march onwards! Take that, you Muhammad-worshipping, goat-fucking, pedophile scum! Serbia is here to deal casualties. That is a certainty. It is a fact, an undeniable one. Muslims are gonna get hurt and so are the fascists. Now let's clear this building out the proper way. Okay, I don't have time to clear this building out since they've retaken the farmhouse. But no problem here. We must continue this attack. If Smolutsa is lost, all hope is lost. But if we can win the Battle of Smolutsa, we can continue our advantage in the Bosnian War. And with that advantage, we can put an end to any attempts at vile and putrid Croat Muslim secession. After a few sensual moans and giving control of our tank to a fellow Serb, we march onwards. Not surrendering one inch of ground, but constantly on the attack. To be honest, I think that we are going to lose this battle. But not for lack of effort, but for lack of understanding by the game engine. We should be in control by now. We have just as many points as the Bosniaks and the Croats. But we don't. This is something which I do not understand and will not understand. For a second I thought we'd suddenly stopped losing points. We were close, but not close enough. We cannot afford the time to take that tank, but we can afford, we must afford the time to take one more base. Not this one apparently, but at the very least we will know that though we are at a disadvantage currently, it won't last for long.
take that, you Pavelic glorifying, Holocaust denying, Ustache bastard! The Serbs may lose this battle, but not the war. We will gain the advantage. Bosnia will be ours once again. Mark these words and listen to them carefully. This defeat is not the end. It is nowhere near to the end. Despite resistance, we shall move onwards. We will crush the Bosniaks and the Croats, and they will regret ever messing with us. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe to my channel. I have been the Nerd Gamer, and goodbye for now.